Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm filming my 2018 reflection and my goals for 2019. So I wanted to get really comfy in this hoodie because I haven't been feeling good um, at all. So this is the best we're, we're doing and we're just going to have a little bit of a real video here. I'm going to go through my ups and downs of 2018 and I just want to first of all start talking about how being an adult is hard, growing up is hard, um, there's nothing easy and there's hardships and there's your highs and lows and um, people who stay, people who don't and I'm really grateful for everything that 2018 has taught me but I'm so ready for 2019 and I'm never usually one of those people that's like new year, new me, um, obviously new year but there's a little bit of a better me I would say right now. So I have some pictures here, just some highlights of my year and I'm going to be putting them in the screen as we go along with this video and I just want to throw a disclaimer that 2018 wasn't a very great year for myself um, in terms of like self-growth and stuff. It wasn't like the best at the beginning. Um, it kind of just got really good towards the end of the year but I don't have a lot of like pictures and memories which kind of sucks. I kind of feel like I excluded myself a lot in 2018 and didn't really get to have the life I kind of wanted I guess if that makes sense or I just have like the memories with the friends. I kind of missed out on that part so that's okay but um, I will show you the memories that I do have and the highs and lows of my life. So in 2018 I actually walked into the year um, in a relationship at the time. It was like seven months or something like that and so that's how I started my 2018. I celebrated New Year's Eve um, with that person and also with like my brother and his friends and stuff and then obviously in January as every year I turned a different age so I actually turned 19 last year. I also went into my winter semester of my first year of university. Then we go into February. So I actually joined a new church and I still do go there and I love it. And I'm very grateful that I did join there because I kind of like reconnected with God. And uh, also in February, I made the move and dyed my hair with more blonde in it. Um, I do actually miss that a little bit, kind of. But yeah, I went and dyed my hair blonde, so... Then in March, I went on a trip to Cuba and it was very relaxing and um, a great trip. I love getting to go anywhere where it's warm, so I went on my vacation to Cuba. Um, at the end of March, beginning of May, I actually restarted my YouTube channel. I decided to make videos again and post and I am so grateful I did that for myself because it's something I love and wanted to do and I wouldn't really be here today where I am without this if that's like so cheesy but I honestly like just have such a little subscriber base but I truly feel that this has helped me a lot and like self-growth and being going out of my comfort zone and talking to different people and stuff so I'm so grateful I started my YouTube channel when I did. Then fast forward into May I actually celebrated two of my good friends birthdays and here's a picture with me and one of them Emma. Um, love her to death so I celebrated her birthday. Then in May and June I kind of was really interested in like the whole taking pictures outside, like photo shoot type things. So um, I have a picture I went with my friend Palmer and we went and had a little photo shoot and it was a lot of fun. I loved that day. Also in June I went to my fourth and last prom and I loved my dress and uh, I'm excited that I've retired my prom days. So yeah, four was enough. Then in July, I started working with Susie Shear, and it was a really cool opportunity, and I was so grateful, and they're such an amazing company. I also had started a new job in July. Um, just for the time being, I was out because of an accident, so um, until I could return back to the current job that I'm at, I started yeah. a job at a travel agency, and I actually really did enjoy it there. I learned a lot from starting there, and I kind of had that like full-time job feel, so I enjoyed that experience. And then in July, my brother came home, and I was so excited to have him home for a month and a half. So uh, we picked him up and yeah, that literally was the highlight of my summer, probably having him home. Uh, in July, I got bit by a dog, I actually attacked by a dog and I got bit in my hip and in my knee and I still have the scars. So um, here's a picture also from the end of July where I am not in a happy place at all um, with kind of like everything. So I just thought I would show you that to prove that 
just because you post a picture and you might be like smiling doesn't mean life's going great this was actually a terrible day when I took this picture I was at the ball field which was nice but it was just a really bad day and my mental health was not very good and things were not good with my relationship and stuff like that and it just I was not at a good point so fast forward into August, I went and supported my brother playing for our province at Canada Cup and that was like such a fun weekend. Loved every minute of that. Of course it was baseball, but I loved that. Also in August, I went to PEI and I tried cow's ice cream for the first time. If you don't know, ice cream is my favorite treat and it was my first time trying cows and I can't believe it and I had it like every day I was there. And then in September, I started my second year of university. Um, then, you know, through August, September, October, things weren't just going the best and that happens to everyone, but they really weren't. And also in October, my guinea pig was really sick at one point and I thought she was going to die. So here's a picture because we did a little photo shoot with her. And then in October, I went through a breakup and um, it happened uh, via text and not my decision but it honestly is the best thing that ever could have happened to me and I don't mean that in a petty way I've truly grown myself um, I was sad for a couple days and I picked myself right back up and just carried on with life and I started to go out I started to meet so many new friends have so many more memories I've been focusing on YouTube I've truly been living my best life since then and I think thank God every day for playing out things the way they're supposed to be because sometimes they feel like the worst thing at the time and if you can look back a couple months later and nothing bothers you anymore you know you've you've just grown to be a better person in the situation but yeah so that was like my lowest point of the whole year after that point in time I started focusing on myself and I became much healthier happier um I don't know all those all the good things so then I went out for Halloween and went out with some friends had an awesome time I then packed up and went to Halifax to visit one of my great friends Emma and I stayed with her for a weekend met some awesome people like explored literally just lived life had the best time ever I'm so grateful I did that and here's a picture of us again so that was a great time then I became really good friends with my friend Taylor and we went to the Santa Claus parade and we just kept going on dates and I'm so grateful for that she's awesome um then I got asked to be my best friend's maid of honor my best friend from childhood and honestly probably the best thing that happened all year like to be asked that that was just such a great highlight of my life and then my brother came home this month uh well actually last month because it's december 1st now but he came home for christmas so looking back at 2018 reflecting i'm very proud of where i've come and how far i've come and where i'm at right now because I'm not the same girl I was at the beginning of the year, not the same girl I was in September and October. I am completely different the way I see things, the way I handle situations, you know, how I control who's in my life, I guess, um, the way I do things. For 2019, as I said, I'm not much of a resolution type of person because I think that every day I like to set little goals, but I do have some goals that I have set that I would like to see myself follow through and continue them and then at the end of the year be able to reflect and say I completed those like goals. So I have a couple goals of focusing on YouTube and focusing on school. Obviously, those are very realistic things. Um, I would love to meet some new friends and make some memories with the awesome friends that I do have. I would like to travel a little more. I would just like to be, you know, smart financially and not shop as much, even though it's really hard for me. But I'd like to kind of set a little goal for working out ha um, spending habits and stuff because I do struggle with that. I have a goal of just being kind and working on myself and focusing on myself and putting all my energy just into me and being the best me that I can be, which is so cliche, but truly, truly, truly important. I've realized that the last couple months and if I can love myself and put this much into myself now, I can't even wait to see what I'm going to be like at the end of 2019. I seriously can't wait.
to see that change and that outcome. I would also like to commit to going to the gym probably like four times a week like just that have that commitment of like okay let's go to the gym let's go four times a week like we can do this so we'll see if that works but that's just a little goal that I have my last goal I think is I think that I have is just to take care of like my skin my mind my body like everything I want to get to bed a little bit earlier I want to try to like make a bit healthier options I think I do pretty good now but um in terms of like food wise and just drink more water take care of my skin i want to make sure i never go to bed with my makeup on that's going to be a big one and i'm just so excited for 2019 so if you're in my life for 2019 i can't wait to make memories with you i can't wait to take all you guys along this journey of my channel in the new year and i want to know your goals down below so let me know if you have goals down below if you don't set them that's fine um no judgment of course i'm not usually one to set them either but i'm doing it this year and we're gonna see how it turns out at the end of the year so thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in my next video happy new year guys Mwah.